In every corner of Ohio, from the cities to the communities where passing cars are few and far, there is someone with a suspended driver's license. Some have two, three, or nine suspensions on their record. One slip up may be all it takes. It could happen to anyone. You know what color you're getting? And take years to chisel away at mounting debt. I probably spent at least $2,500 on just tickets and getting valid. Noelle Lyons got a ticket when she didn't renew her plates after her birthday. She then got into a wreck, hit from behind while under suspension. I wasn't at fault at all, but my plates were expired. Noelle spent time away from work and hundreds of dollars trying to straighten it out. And she's not alone. There is an entire docket in Cleveland Heights Municipal Court to handle the sheer volume of cases. We found Noel and Nizer Lukerson there. I've been suspended for a while now. On this day, it was for expired tags and not using a turn signal. When did this start? 2019. He left court with hundreds in fines and court costs, but still had more to pay to the BMV and another court. Right now, I'm just getting off with them and then Willoughby. News 5 investigators partnered with the Marshall Project Cleveland to see just how much license suspensions impact Ohioans and found you can lose driving privileges even for stuff that doesn't have anything to do with driving. It could be a clerical error, ditching a court hearing or skipping out on child support. We're punishing drivers by taking away their licenses not based on dangerous driving, but based on uh, a debt they can't pay off. Ohio has nearly 200,000 debt-related suspensions. Nearly 95,000 of those are for failure to show proof of insurance. 10,000 alone in Cuyahoga County. We're seeing folks coming in with three, five, six, nine suspensions. According to a Legal Aid Society of Cleveland study, debt-related suspensions disproportionately affected neighborhoods where people of color live. The neighborhoods that are least able to afford it, they're the ones paying the most money outside of their neighborhood to take care of these debts. One zip code highlighted in the Legal Aid study falls in Cleveland Councilman Richard Starr's ward on the east side. The U.S. Census shows the median income is 18500 I thought about it like the system is doing what it's designed to do. What's that? Um, and that's is to take advantage of those who are less fortunate. BMV Registrar Charlie Norman says multiple suspensions are not unique to any zip code. We don't have any wiggle room there. We receive an order from court to suspend. You know, and that's statutorily what we have to do. License forfeiture suspensions total nearly 70,000 statewide. It's when you skip court or don't pay fines in driving misdemeanor cases. 10,000 of those suspensions are in Cuyahoga County. So how are you supposed to pay the fines when you can't drive? Risking it so you don't lose your job could mean getting pulled over again and getting another suspension. Nizer drives for a living. Sometimes it just builds up so much that yeah, I have, like, I gotta keep trying to get the fines, but I'm trying to do everyday life stuff at the same time. It's often a hurdle that folks are not going to be able to, um, to clear on their own, if, if at all. Just look at child support suspensions alone. Statewide, there are more than 20,000. Zoom in on Northeast Ohio counties. Lorraine tops out at just over 1,400 in 2022, followed by Summit and Cuyahoga counties. People absolutely should pay their child support, but there are different ways to enforce child support orders. The legal aid study shows about two dozen states in Washington, D.C. have taken different approaches, including moving away from suspending licenses for missing court hearings or not paying court fines. We want people to be driving safely and driving legally. Um, and to learn from folks who've gone through this as to what are the barriers. Should Ohio take a different approach? They've got to weigh uh, the pros and cons of getting rid of the, the fees, getting rid of the you know possible deterrence, and you know what that means for Ohio drivers out there who, who are driving insured and are victims themselves you know, when they're hit by an uninsured driver. The BMV is owed more than $330 million in outstanding reinstatement fees. Total fine, 250 and four costs. More than 6,000 Ohioans are on a payment plan, according to the BMV, including Nizer. The BMV, I owe like 1,000. Once you show you can afford the plan, you can get your license reinstated. Do you expect to get any of that back or all of that back? Some percentage. Um, you know, we do have really thousands of drivers every every year that do 
uh, reinstate their licenses. Noel, a single mom, had flexibility to leave work to take care of her suspension debt. If I had a regular nine to five, that wouldn't be okay to just leave work. Even though it's important, you need your money too. Nizer is closer to where he needs to be. It was my fault, so I'm just paid a fine. Hopefully, it'll be off by the end of this year.